Welcome. Welcome to Lima, Peru. We are in the center plaza. Plaza Mayor de Lima. The central plaza of Lima, Peru. Today we're going to explore the historical center of Lima, Peru. So let's go. Before we do that, I just want to say a real quick thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. Now, Lima was originally founded as the City of Kings, and uh, the name was later changed to Lima. But Francisco Pizarro came here in 1534, and they founded the city here, the City of Kings. Now, of course, they weren't the first ones here. The Inca had a presence here before them, and before the Inca, several other cultures, including the Lima culture after which the city is named. And here in the central plaza, there are a lot of beautiful old Spanish colonial buildings. And right there is the presidential palace. That is the president's residence and the office of the president. You can see the whole plaza actually is sort of uh, guarded. There are these barricades that are blocking entrance to the center of the plaza. I actually tried to walk into the center of the plaza and all of these police officers immediately started blowing their whistles and telling me that I could not go in there. And uh, I actually asked a couple of the police officers over there why we couldn't go in there and they said it's because they've had uh, like a ton of protests, I guess, recently. And so they closed off the center of the plaza, uh, not just today, but uh, pretty much every day. So I don't think we're gonna be able to get into the center of the plaza. Like I really wanted to go in there get a nice shot from the center of the entire plaza, but we're not going to be able to do that. But that's okay. I think what we are going to do is we're going to take a look around this plaza. We're going to take a look inside the cathedral that's right behind me. Now the cathedral is attached to like a museum of, for the cathedral and it costs a certain amount of souls to get in there. I'm not sure exactly how many, but we're going to go inside, take a look inside there, and then from there, there's some other stuff within a few blocks of the historical center here that I want to walk over to. And while we're doing that, we can talk a little bit more about the founding of Lima, Peru, and why it's so important um, in the history of the country of Peru. Okay, so we're inside the cathedral. We paid our entrance fee. It was 30 souls, which is about eight or nine dollars. And we can film in here, so I'll give you a look. It's a beautiful, very, very beautiful cathedral inside. Amazing architecture. These ceilings, the patterns on the ceilings are really, really cool. And we're going to get a tour. There is a guided tour that comes along with the entrance. There's a whole museum, I guess, associated with the basilica as well. So we're going to get to see that. I think that tour, I'm not sure exactly when it starts. Some people have already started lining up here. The tour is going to be in Spanish, which of course we're only going to understand like 50%, but that is par for the course. I think I understood that this is the oldest, like, work here. It was from 1619. It tells the story of St. John the Baptist. You can see right there, who got his head chopped off. And uh, this tour actually is going to include um, the crypt, a crypt, like, that we're going to be able to see. And then also, it's going to include, I did not know this, but the tomb of Francisco Pizarro, the Spanish conquistador, who uh, founded the city here in 1534, I believe. Anyway.
can see they've had a glass panel here so you can see down into the crypt and the tombs down there sort of running up against another tour here that came in behind us they're actually speaking English so apparently we could have gotten the tour in English but it's more fun this way I didn't catch everything about this part, but I think that this is dedicated to the archbishops of, um, of Lima, of Peru. This is showing Pope John Paul II came here and I guess dedicated uh, the second archbishop of Peru, Santo Toribio Alfonso de Mogorove from way back in like the 1500s, 1600s, and he made a patron saint of Latin America. And this happened here in 1983, Pope John Paul II. Up here you can see the pipe organ. For all you organ fans. Also from here we can get a much closer, better view of the, uh, the rest of the chapel. So the altar here is really, really incredible. I'm just gonna say this real quick because the tour is leaving. I have to kind of film these right as the tour is leaving, but each one of these panels depicts a saint. Uh, San Sebastian is over here. Um, San Augustine is one, one over here. And the amount of work that went into these, I mean, they're really, really incredible. And this is basically one of the, considered to be one of the, uh, really like one of the greatest parts of the of the chapel or of the uh, cathedral okay i think we're going down now to the crypt i think i'm going the right way yeah we're going down to the crypt This painting shows all of the Incan kings as well as the Spanish kings afterwards after the Spanish conquered here. And up close here you can see Atahualpa, the last Incan king, and King Charles I, the first of the Spanish kings.
This room has portraits of all of the archbishops of Peru going all the way back, like all the way back to the first one and all the way around the room to the, uh, the current one, actually. And the portraits surround you all the way around this room. This shows how the columns were constructed. They were largely constructed by wood and then um, had plaster around them, but the columns themselves inside are wood. So the, the frames are actually uh, rather lightweight for the columns, but they support a lot because of how they were designed. Finally, we reached the tomb of Francisco Pizarro. Now Pizarro uh, was actually, his bones were sort of scattered in amongst other ones and it took some forensic um, science in the, in the modern time to discover that this was actually Pizarro. So his body was then moved and uh, entombed here and you can see his tomb right here and there's also a like replica of his skeleton here underneath the glass. That was a very complete tour, actually. They uh, really had to see everything in there. I think the highlight, of course, was, uh, well, I mean, the beautiful architecture inside. Seeing that the entire thing was really made of, like, mostly of wood, the columns are made of wood. It's really incredible because I never really got a chance in some of the other cathedrals that we saw to see, like, uh, exactly how they were constructed. So it's pretty cool that they showed that. And also, of course, the tomb of Francisco Pizarro, who of course was assassinated, assassinated in uh, 1541 and was buried in a cemetery nearby here and then was moved and his like bones got mixed in with uh, the rest of the bones in the crypt and they did a whole uh, you know forensic analysis and identified them. Pretty cool story actually. Um, so looks like, oh, <laughs> remember before when I said that uh, they were going to have the center of the square closed and we weren't going to be able to get in there. And that policeman told me that it's going to be closed all day and uh, that it's closed like every day. Well, turns out that's not true because I just came out of the church and now everything's open. So let's go into the center of the square as we walk past the presidential palace here, the office of the president. Anyway, let's just take a quick run through the center of the square here and then we're actually going to walk from here down to another plaza that's nearby in the historical center. It's Plaza San Martin. Our guy, Jose de San Martin. Like I mentioned in the many times we've put him in a video and they even had a whole video about him from, uh, from uh, Argentina when we were in Mendoza. He was the liberator of Argentina, Chile, and Peru. So, of course, there's tons of stuff named after him, not just in Argentina, not just in Chile, but here in Peru as well. From here, in the center of the square, next to this beautiful fountain, we can get a great shot of the cathedral. And I mean, man, it's really cool. We weren't able to see it because we were so close to it. We weren't able to see it in all its glory before. But it's very amazing, very cool. All right, so from here, I'm gonna take a little walk to uh, Plaza San Martin. I wanna check out Plaza San Martin. We definitely wanna go see Plaza San Martin uh, before we leave the historical center. So let's just take a quick look at the main plaza right here.
really, really amazing. Of all the major plazas that we've seen, you know, the founding plazas of different cities that we've been to, uh, I think this one <laughs> might actually be my favorite, not gonna lie. It's really, really cool. All right, Plaza San Martin, here we go. Just off the plaza, there's this long pedestrian walk. There's the plaza back there, where we just came from. It's long pedestrian walk, shops, restaurants, all kinds of stuff along here. Uh, the name right now escapes me of this pedestrian walk. It's called Giron de la Union. I actually saw a sign on the side of a building. Giron de la Union. That's actually the name of the uh, stop on the Metropolitano, the bus rapid transit that we took to get here. Uh, get off at Giron de la Union. It's like halfway the stop between um, Plaza San Martin and the central plaza, um, Plaza Mayor in Peru. But lots of stuff along here, like this big giant department store, tons of shopping, and also a lot of uh, just like this whole area, the historical center is full of like lots of. Um, old churches, monasteries, and things like that. Just up here, actually, like, right in front of us, you can sort of see that cool looking building. That right there is like a church that I, it seems like is really, really old. And the thing is, is you get these cathedrals on the main square and presidential palace, things like that, but there's places just nearby here, you know, like, that are just a few blocks away that are just as old and just as cool I think, um, and that's kind of what uh, this part of Lima is like, you know, it's this historical center. It's cool old buildings like this one here. You think, wow, what is this? Turns out it's like a, it's like a mall. Very cool. Kind of crazy to see it inside a cool old building like that, and right across Right across the Peotonal right here is this church. It's a really cool old church. This I think is actually about to close in like five minutes, so let's go in real quick and see if we can just like film inside real quick. It's really cool to see like that church right here in the middle of it. So this walk along here, along this uh, peatonal, Giron de la, de la Union. There's a lot of people out here. When I was here just a few hours ago coming through, of course a lot of these things were closed before we took the tour of the cathedral. Now everything's open. Lots of people walking through here, lots of stuff going on. It was really cloudy this morning, but uh, the sun's come out, which is really nice because this actually, uh, this time in Peru, going into autumn, 
Uh, it's kind of uh, everything gets gets kind of uh, very cloudy, very foggy, especially in the mornings. And sometimes that just persists on into the afternoon, from what I'm told. So, uh, all right, we're almost there to uh, Plaza San Martin. All right, here we are, Plaza San Martin, and there he is, right there. Jose de San Martin, la nación al general de Jose de San Martin. There he is up there at his horse. The liberator of Argentina, Chile, and Peru. And now, we've actually been to all of those countries, Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Now, originally, hadn't planned uh, to follow the, uh, the route of Jose de San Martin. It just sort of worked out that way. And uh, it's a really cool plaza, actually. Uh, this one, not as pedestrian friendly as uh, Plaza Mayor because there are streets all around it with traffic. Gotta be careful not to get run over. Peru, uh, infamous Lima for its traffic. Crazy, crazy traffic here in Lima. There's a bunch of old buildings around here too. Very cool looking old architecture. And I don't know what any of them are because I hadn't planned that far ahead. And we decided to come here so I haven't really done too much research on what is surrounding this plaza. But if anybody knows down in the comments, wants to let me know what any of these buildings are and if they're significant in any way. Of course, you know, like I mentioned, that other building we just saw, you never know. In a neighborhood like this, this historical center of a city that was, you know, founded in 1535, who knows? You could get an old building like this. That's a shopping mall, and that's actually what I think this one is. Because I see some stores inside and restaurants and whatnot. But a cool plaza here, Plaza San Martin. And I think it's cool now to see we've seen a Plaza San Martin in uh, multiple plazas de San Martin in three different countries now. So, you really know the influence that the guy had because this statue right here of San Martin on top of his horse in the middle of a plaza surrounded by, uh, you know, old neoclassical and super old buildings with tons of people walking around speaking Spanish. Really lets you know that that guy well, he had quite an impact. And it's cool to see, it's cool to see his plaza here in a third country. Don't think any of the buildings around here are too, like, historically significant. One of them was a hotel over there. That one over there. Uh, there's a Pizza Hut on the ground floor, so I mean, how historically significant can a building be if there's a Pizza Hut in it? I don't know. Maybe the buildings themselves are historically significant, or they were, and now they've just been repurposed as, you know, hotels and Pizza Huts. Really, really fancy looking Pizza Huts. Who knows? Either way, it's a very lively plaza, lots of stuff going on around here. And I suppose, if you want to go and uh, get some pizza, there's your place, right there, Pizza Hut. So I think that's a good introduction to the historical center, Centro Historico, Lima, the uh, main plaza, which I actually just saw a sign back there that said it's called Plaza de Armas, same as it was in uh, Santiago, in Chile, when we were there. But take a look at the beautiful Giron de la Union. It's nice pedestrian walk going back up towards the plaza, away from Plaza San Martin behind us. And uh, just up here is where we're going to catch the uh, Metropolitano, the bus rapid transit, to get us out of this neighborhood. But there's going to be plenty more videos from this neighborhood because there's a lot of stuff to see in this area. It's actually a Chinatown right nearby, which we're definitely going to see and uh, make a video about that because the history of Chinese immigration in uh, Peru is very, very long and interesting. And we want to go to Chinatown for the Chinese food too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.